Do you know Joe or Joseph in the spirit world? Yes. yes. And where he was concerned, I now beginning to feel his character. And when I feel that, I know he was a man with a character. Yes. You understand? And Mavis was talking about things, and she says she doesn't use swear words. But I know I've, I was hearing swear words here Absolutely. from him. And I know here, I kept hearing the word beginning with B and ending, ending in R. You know that word? What I want to... I, I, Mavis said I flunked spelling. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> Um, but, uh, not off the top of my head, but I know okay, a lot that's of fine. Words. But I know he would use swear words because yeah. um, I can, I can feel that. Word. But B-A-S-T-A-R. also, oh, yeah, that word. Yes, okay. But also, in a way, in his own character and personality, he was like that himself. Can you yes. understand that? Because that's the way he comes. Is anybody ready to join I, me? So that was Claire's sentience, feeling. So. I see. Clear up. All right, I'll just clear up. Whatever you want to do, darling. Okay, what, what I'm doing is I'm seeing. And I just Clairvoyant. know that I've seen mother written over your head. So your mother must be in the spirit world. Yes. That's correct. That's yeah, correct. If I'm correct with that, then seeing again, it, you would know where you on your father's side of family where there would have been people that would have had heart or blood pressure problems. Yes. That's correct. If I carry on with my seeing, I've got a very smart gentleman that comes and just is stood before you. I want him all dressed up, but only once in a blue moon, okay? So, would not have liked a shirt and tie, would not have liked a suit, but would have worn it for just special occasions. Does that make sense to you? And I need to be on your father's side, because I've just seen father written over the side of him. Um, and I wanted an uncle, so I know I'm an uncle connected to your father. Possibly. Okay. If I go on, would I also be correct in my sight to say that there are items that would have been left behind, such as watches and rings? Correct. Because I know I can see them. Yes. I also know that I should be able to mind travel into your home clairvoyantly and I still should be able to find bits and pieces that really you can touch and hold and take you back down memory lane. Yes. That's correct. Okay. I want to give you a Parker pen as well because they've just placed in my sight a fountain pen. You know the old, old yes. ones that you filled up? Yes. I've got one of those that I yes. want to give to you. I'm, and that's all seeing. Yes. <laughs> now I want to type I'm sensing, Claire, sentience. So I'm sensing your energy. But I, and I, I know you, Joe, but I don't know you. Many of my students. Right. I sense very much a lady next to you who's a nun. So I would have known that it would be a nun in the family. There would have been a lady who would have studied to be a nun. Yes. That'd be correct. Right. So I see this lady next to you, but I'm also sensing this lady. And I sense to be my mother's side of the family would be very, very important to this lady. Yes. So she would be on the mother's side of the family. I'm sensing that. Yes. I'm saying this lady, this lady was a very loving lady, a very sweet lady, a very emotional lady. But I know when she was younger, she didn't really know herself too well. Can I say that Correct. to you? And I know this lady, when she's younger, she feels as if she was very isolated in her own way. I feel like she almost couldn't... Uh, I don't want to say the normal life, but she felt very much uh, involved with that church. She felt that was where she knew people. That was where she knew, I would say, God. That's where she could come out, was being there. Okay? Yeah. I feel very quiet when she's younger. I feel very protective when I'm younger. I know that there would be drinking in the family. I think this lady would have had a drinking problem early on. I would have known that, but I don't know if she went into the memory and then must have stopped the drinking. But there would have been definitely drinking in the family line. No doubt about it. Absolutely. Okay? And I know very, very much that I'm sensing. You make my information. Oh, <laughs> it happens, it happens, it happens. <laughs> and so I know then the whiskey, I know there'd be whiskey there, I know there'd be a, a bar that also, I know your father would have passed over, I'm also very aware of that. I know there have been some people also, uh, like the Michael, John name also, a Mary name would be there, I'm sensing that. I'm sensing that alcoholism would be in that family line, no doubt about it. Right. I know someone had probably died as well, with that probably two generations back, and I'm sensing that. I sense in this aunt, this lady, that you pray to her, you see her, there'll be a picture that, that you have of her. Hold on, Sent, you, you pray to her. Stop interrupt the lady. So you pray to her when you need the most strength. There's none, and you know about that. Yes. I'll pass it on. <laughs> okay. And, 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 the, <laughs> and Mavis, the, the guy in the suit was a priest. 
drink there. Okay. Um, before um, James mentioned the alcohol, I kept seeing bottles of alcohol. Oh, they own the bar. Uh, That's why I say <laughs> bar too. Well, but I want to go back even further than that because I was looking at bottles that was ma homemade spirit. Um, not shop bought or imported. There's people in your family could have made um, bootleggers. That's what I see, like the old still yeah, bootlegs. So I'm always going yeah. back yeah. in generations with that. Right. Good. I, I, can I ask you if you, you're feeling that you're, you're hearing that in your I head? Saw, I saw. Or are you drunk? I'm not <laughs> sure. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Objectively yes. seeing, I know that there has been a love of dogs. So yes. I know that there have been people that would have loved dogs. Is yes. that correct? Because I saw the dogs coming round here. I know these dogs were very, very well behaved dogs. Yes. And it's like that they would go to command. Does that make sense? Yes. I hear a whistle. So I've now got Claire Audience coming in and I hear somebody being able to whistle a dog and make it do exactly what this man wants. Absolutely. You understand? As I worked with that, I got to say these are big dogs, but there would have been the small dogs as Saint well. Yep. Is that correct? Yep. I know that one of these dogs must have gone to the spirit world through just old age, tired out yes. and weary, and would have died at home, yes. not in a vet. You understand that? But I know also, clairvoyantly, that there would have been people in your family that would have known how to take care of animals when they were sick. Absolutely. You understand that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Right. I just want to... Can we finish up just one more and, and move on? Your mother, uh, I, I got mother very, very strong. You already established mother was here, isn't that right? No, you did that. Oh, I did that. <laughs> I, I, I know that for some reason I'm giving, I'm giving very, very strong St. Patrick's Day. Now, I know you might be Irish. I don't know if you're Irish or not, but I got St. Patrick's Don't tell me. But I know St. Patrick's Day is very, very strong here with her. Very, very strong here. I know they used to have parties in the basement. There used to be parties at the bar. But I know how to party St. Patrick's Day. Do you understand that? Yes. Thank you. And I want to go back to that memory, so now I'm getting clairvoyance because I'm seeing the party, this bar, but also feeling how wonderful it was to look forward to this. I know invitation only sometimes. I know there's a party and people are sending out, I know the neighborhoods. I know also that there would be the Mims Mc McLaughlin's last name would be something in the neighborhood where the McLaughlin or she's seen the McLaughlin's. I know Elizabeth would be sim uh, also over there and Elizabeth would be uh, over in the spirit world. Do you understand that? Because your mother's telling me about that one. I'm very, very aware of that. I'm very, very aware also there's a Michael in the spirit as well. Yes. I'm very, very aware that you must have changed something in the car very, very strongly as far as changing something in the car that you see when you're driving. So I'm not sure if that's a medallion. I'm not sure if that's something you have in that the mirror, river mirror. There's a little prayer there. Do you understand this? Yes. And I know that you would have changed probably Wednesday. Or before you came up here, they would have been changed like last week. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. That's it. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Just, just quickly, um, they, 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 they just uh, gave me a clairvoyant picture, um, but I felt they were actually trying to give me a name from this picture. Your family must have known people by the surname of Boot. Booth? Boot. Boot. B-O-T-S. Your family would have known people who would have been in trading, where there'd have been a store. Well, the bar was on the street where there were stores, but I don't know about that. Because I've seen this store, and I know I've got the name of Boots or Boots, okay? And I know that your family would connect there with them, okay? And also, there should be the name of Wells. W-E-L. I know Wells, is, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And they gave me that by a picture as well. I know that there's a truck, because I see dogs coming, jumping onto the back of trucks. And I know that they would have been going up hillsides, not but yeah, going up yeah, like yeah. this. That's the best way to explain it, because that's what I saw. But I, may I just say to you, sir, yes. that you would understand why I should bring you a wheelchair as well, because somebody has closed it together and thrown it away. Yes. So somebody before they died must have needed a wheelchair. Absolutely. You understand that? Yes. I, as I worked with that, I also saw um, a, a blanket that would have been used for over their knees. Yes. And as I gave you that, I also want to bring you a cardigan. 
with the looks like an Aaron cardigan. Yes. With the buttons down. Yes. Um, and I just know that they're presenting you with this idea of my goodness gracious me, look how things have changed for us. Yes. But may I tell you, for the better, not for the worse. Absolutely. And I just want to say one more thing, then I want to stop. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. fine. I just got to acknowledge from the spirit world that I'm sensing this now, not only from one being, two being, but a level of them, it's almost they come through as I call it a mind meld, and that several, several beings come as one thought to me, and, and I'm, I'm getting, there's a lot of appreciation and gratitude for the work that you do, and I know that you have to be acknowledged for going to places that no one else will go in your work, and I know from the spirit world, they're very thrilled with that, and you need to know that, okay? Thanks. Bless you. Ciao, ciao. Tell people what you do for a living, would you please? I work with the, I'm a, I work with the parents of murdered children. As a medium. Wow. Yes, I am. Now. Like <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe so I had a truck, and I had a Saint Bernard, and a Newfoundland, and I ran a summer camp for kids. So I was up and down. The, oh, I could oh. see the I could see the dogs yeah. on the back stood up. Yeah. As if yeah. they loved it. And the big dog was right trained right in there. German. Oh. Right. Lovely. Thank you for talking about that. Then we're going to bring somebody up. Yes, yeah. you want to start? Uh, this lady's got a question. Yeah. Oh, thank you for taking my question. When all three of you looked at Joe, do you all see the same thing? Different. Or, or does... No, if you listen to all the information was different. Yeah. So when you think there's, there's, there's the, the three of us, okay, what happens is, is that we become not three indivi individuals, we become one power and one energy. And then, then when the spirit world uh, people are there, it won't be just one person, his whole family will be there, so they will all join in and different ones within the family, or even the same one, then can share it in part because they're touching all three of us at the same time because we want power, not three separate individuals. And, and also you have to understand that there might be some members of the family who's closer to my personality than would be Maeve's personality or Paul's personality, right. so it'd be easier for me to pick up that particular spirit than, than the, someone else pe pick someone else up. Doesn't mean that, but they're all here, but they're projecting differently and maybe the medium is picking up on that frequency. But also what we wanted to show you from that was and the, the different ways they bring the information through the different yeah. faculties and you shouldn't limit the spirit world in which way. And I find students do that. Um, I even see some working mediums where you can go and see what they're going to say or how they're going to receive it. It's the same pattern every time and you're restricting the spirit world. You have to be open, even in the same contact, on how they bring it and what they want to bring it. And, and it's also a matter of trust. I mean, you have to trust it. You have to know what you know. The other night we did a demonstration in New Jersey, and I was, when I was up there, I brought through, this dog came through, it was a dog or a cat, I don't know what yeah, it was, yeah, cat, and the cat. end of the tail was no hair on the end of the tail. Now that sounds very silly, but I had to bring it through because that was given to me. The lady in the audience didn't understand it. I said, well, I have to give you that because that tail is there. I'm seeing that tail. Of course, a half an hour later, she said, I just remembered about that. That was the cat with the no hair in the tail. So you, and it must be the silliest thing, but it's not up to you to filter it. It's spirits giving it to you. You have to receive it and just give it as you get it. So what's the thing we're going to do? Yeah. You know, the, I, just, I have a question. Do you ever censor things on your own? Well, you all three of us will have a different answer for that. Do we, also, do we censor things on our own? Paul, what do you want to start with that? Um, yes, again, the, you, again, you have to use your awareness in many ways. There are one thing you can say to one person that you couldn't say to somebody else. Then also it depends whether it's a private one-to-one -one situation 